Supply, so Cash and Clean is here bringing you some valuable tips and tricks for Rocket League, and we will begin with that, and I'll begin with tip number one. Alright, so as you can see, I am in an exhibition match with no bots, just myself, and as you can see, I'm here, so I will be showing you some valuable tips, and this is going to be tip number one. So if you want to always get first touch when you hit that ball, as in you're the first person to hit it, and you get the 10 XP points, so what you want to do is, if you're playing a 1v1, this is the trick you'd want to do. You'd want, And I'll show you the other tips for 2v2, 3v3, and other stuff. So if you're starting off here like I did, you would want to go sprint and then quickly double tap X like I just did. I don't know, I don't know if that was kind of loud for my controller, but you just double tap it. makes you sprint fast, as you can see in the replay. You sprint, then you double tap, you flip, and you hit the ball goes in, well, I mean, there's not, uh, no one really there, but, I mean, that's how you get first touch, and same thing for here, if you spawn here, you would just want to go around, well, obviously, while spinning, and go to these little, uh, boost things, and you hit the ball, but say you spawn over here on this side, sometimes you do that, what you want to do is sprint, and want to hit it at an angle, so it goes towards the goal, but as you can see, you always do that double touch method, and you will always get the ball. But if you're in a 2v2 or 3v3 situation, it's going to be a bit hard. So what you want to do is always do this method when you're on either this side or if you spawn all the way on this side. Because if you do, I guarantee you this trick always works. Just double tap, hit it, and you'll always get the first touch that you need. Uh, it's not going to guarantee that it's going to go towards the other goal. It might go to your goal. But, I mean, either way, you'll still get first touch and possibly a goal or anything. So, yeah, that's pretty much that tip. Now I'm going to go on tip number two. Alright, so for this tip, this is going to be something... It's helpful and they couldn't at the same time. So say uh, you had no boost. Like, say you just ran out and the ball is going towards your goal. So, like... I don't know, I'm just going to hit it towards my goal, whatever. So if you can't catch up, all you do is sprint, or you don't sprint, but you just kind of use your uh, double tap for X, and you can go far, pretty far with it, and you can go pretty fast without the boost. And that's pretty much how you get around places fast. So yeah, if, it, if it's going towards your goal, just quickly just double tap X, or whatever jump is for you, and you can get towards your goal or wherever you need to pretty fast just do make sure you have a little bit of speed with you you can double tap and you should pretty much get, get to your destination pretty far and that's just without one of these boosts if you had it then you can go even faster but this is just without it and you go pretty fast with it so yeah that's tip number two now I'm gonna go on to tip number three alright so as you can see I'm in a uh, what's it called one of these tutorial modes I am timed as you can see but I mean this is for, this tip is going to be for, like, when, when the ball is in the air, as you just saw, well, I mean, I'll reset it for you guys. If it's in the air and you don't, if you can't get up there, I will show you an easy way to do so. Instead of doing one of these things where you just jump forward, all you have to do is run up and double tap X without, like, flipping or anything. And you can hit it and get pretty high and obviously just get your opponent's, like, like out of the way, pretty, you can just like jump over them pretty much. Most people will go for the flip. If it's really high, you can just do the double jump, and I guarantee that you will definitely get it. So now for the next tip, we this is a, a, pretty much the same as the last one, except you're gonna use your boost. So if it's in the air, you can just hit circle and boom, it's you're just gonna go flying and you can get it. See, like you just hold circle. You'll go fly. Obviously, I have unlimited sprint right now, but I mean, if you did have sprint, you could just do that, and you'll go flying in the air. So watch. I'll I'll jump from here. I'll sprint, try to hit the ball. I don't. Yeah, it's not going in. But anyway, that's how you would do that in those kinds of situations. If it's really high in the air. So if it goes like really high, like up to the ceiling, you can just use your boost if you have any to get up there. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do for that. For that. And for the last tip, I should have probably done this before the first one I actually gave out, but this, for this one, it's how to score every single time from kickoff. And this is if the opponents are, aren't really, like, doing anything. So if you're in the middle, as you can see in the middle, all you would want to do is sprint forward 
and then let go at the last second and the ball will go pretty high in the air so you might want to like time the the thing where you let go fast enough and then you could get it on so if you're in this little area here as you can see all you'd want to do is there pretty much the same thing except I, I just missed there which is kind of embarrassing but I mean you just want to kind of get around in the middle so you can hit it and let go of sprint at the right moment now for these situations you can always get first touch but it's kind of hard because you have to kind of loop around and hit it at the right angle here I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an example of where I actually do make it from there so I'll be right back okay so there you go I'm right here ready to go so all you would want to do is get around and kind of just scoop it in you could do this while doing one of those flips just gonna be kind of hard because you have to get the angle correct and for this this side it's kind of easy you just kind of go in the middle let go of sprint and let it just kind of go but you want to let go of sprint at a right time because if the ball is high enough in the air then your opponents can't get it and I think I'm just gonna show you what, like, what I mean right here so you want to sprint for a decent amount of time and then let go at the last second the ball's gonna go pretty high and it, the opponents will never get it it just goes top corners or middle but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Hopefully they're useful to you. And if you want to see more or something, let me know. And I will see you guys later. I'm out.